Hey, we've got here a pretty interesting integral on the board today. We're looking at the integral from minus one to infinity of e to the minus four x squared minus eight x dx. This exponent makes me think of the Gaussian integral just because we have a square term here, but it's a little unusual to have like a coefficient in front. Okay, it's not just x squared and we have this other part. That's a potential problem. We would like our bounds on the Gaussian integral to be like zero to infinity. I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with minus one. But anyway, before we start worrying about all that, let's just look at the Gaussian integral first. Okay, we have a formula over here on the right. Now you may be more familiar with this. Um, it's often written as minus infinity to infinity, but because it's an even function, we can write it from zero to infinity and just take half of it. So the other formula for minus infinity to infinity is gonna be square root of pi. And the nice thing about this, it comes up a lot in contest problems like MIT integration B, and you don't need to prove this in those contests. Usually you can just, if you can get it into this form, you can just use the value. So for us, the whole strategy is gonna be, what can we do to this exponent to get it to look like this? And then we can maybe use this formula. So I'm just gonna focus on this exponent right now. And I'm gonna start by factoring out a minus so that we have four x squared plus eight x. And then what I wanna do is complete the square so that when we multiply this, we come back with this part. So we're gonna have, if I look at two x plus two squared, that's gonna give us four x squared plus four x plus four x is eight x plus a four, we don't wanna change it, so we're just gonna subtract off that four to get us so we have the same expression. Then I'm gonna just distribute this minus sign back in so that we have minus two x plus two squared plus four. Now, before I get back to the integral, let's just remember this is an exponent, and what I can do is write this like this on our e, that's kinda of messy. But then because, okay, so we're adding exponent, but with exponent rules, Adding an exponent is the same thing as multiplying the term. So we can write this as e to the fourth. Now going back to the integral, what I can do is this e to the four is just a con it's just a number. Okay, it's a constant value. So I'm gonna bring this up front of the integral. Then we get our bounds, minus one to infinity, and then we're gonna have this part, e to the minus two x plus two squared dx. And see so the key here is now we just have one term squared, whereas we had like two terms before and we're getting closer to this. Now what I'm gonna to need to do from here is let's make a u substitution. I'm gonna call this my u. So I'm gonna say u equals two x plus two, and then du is gonna be equal to two dx. And just to set this whole thing up, I'll just kind of create a little two right there and divide by a two, so I'm not changing it. And then we'll make this substitution. So we're gonna have our e to the four over two. Let's look at our bounds. So we plug infinity in here, and that's still infinity. The nice thing about infinity is like almost no matter what you do to it, it's still infinity. Then we'll plug a minus one in here, minus, and we'll get minus two plus two, and we're gonna have zero. And then we're just gonna have e to the minus u squared du. And what you'll notice now is we have a perfect match. The variable name doesn't matter on a definite integral. So this piece right here is gonna be exactly this value. So we're really ready to finish this off. We're gonna have, for our final solution, we're gonna have this e to the fourth, of our square root of pi. And then multiplying this two and this two, we're gonna have a four in the denominator. And that's it, so it actually goes pretty quick and we didn't have any trouble at all dealing with that minus one because it just turned into a zero. I got this problem from my quiz, Gaussian integrals. I'll provide a link in the description. It's got a lot of good problems like this to practice this type of um, contest problem. Thanks for watching, have a great day.